You've probably heard politicians promising to bring jobs back to America. Have you ever wondered how or where those jobs went in the first place? I know I have. So I started digging and I learned where all those jobs went. But I also learned something better, a foolproof way to get those jobs back. And later, I'm gonna explain how. It all started about 30 years ago. Companies realized that by making stuff in places where they could pay people less, they'd save lots of money. They call it outsourcing, which is a fancy word for you're fired. So little by little, jobs began going overseas, but they didn't go alone. Each job that went took more jobs with it because when a factory closes, it's not just the factory workers who lose their jobs. Lots of people in the surrounding community lose their jobs too. People who supply parts and raw materials to the factory, electricians or plumbers who help maintain the factory, chefs, hairstylists, or insurance agents. When the factory goes, those jobs follow. Economists said this was nothing to worry about. Americans would just think of stuff and the rest of the world would make it. Well, they were wrong. There aren't anywhere close to enough thinking up jobs to employ all of us Americans. And the ones we do have, they're disappearing too. Because the people who think of stuff, who design it and engineer it and improve it for the next year, they have to spend a lot of time right where it's made. So when the factory goes, the R&D goes too. What started as a trickle has turned into a full-blown fire hose, shooting U.S. jobs all over the planet. And now, after 30 years, it's hard to find anybody who hasn't been affected. The Great Recession has touched all of us. We all know someone who's lost a job, lost a home, or lost their entire life savings. But we sure screwed up, so now what? Luckily, we don't have to wait for the politicians. We can fix this ourselves, you and me, because we're consumers, and consumers have amazing power. In fact, if we decide to, we can reverse the flow of jobs today, right now. It's as simple as this. Every time you buy something, make sure it was made in America. But you have to pay attention. Sometimes, even if you think a brand is American, even if there's an American flag on the package, it might not be made here. And while it might cost just a little bit more, in the long run, it will cost a whole lot less. Here's how well it works. If each of us spends just 5% more on things made in America, economists say we will create a minimum of a million new jobs for Americans. One million jobs. Out of 100 purchases you make, maybe 20 of those are already made in the U.S. Then all you need to do is buy one more American-made thing. That's 5%. Just one more thing. Share this video with two friends. That's it. Just two people. If every one of us shares this video with two people within a day of seeing it, in one month's time, it will have been seen by pretty much every single person in the country. I know that each of us will figure out a way to buy just 5% more U.S.-made products. We Americans have a long history of making things happen. Thanks for watching. Please take the pledge and share this video with two people.